Okay, so in this video, we are going to take a look at how we can render a biofrost simulation in Maya's report using X-Ray. So here I have a cache simulation, something like this. And let's quickly go through the process to uh, use this simulation in X-Ray. The first thing is, of course, um, disable the particle and enable the biofrost meshing, as X-Ray requires a mesh to for rendering. Uh, let's assign a material to see what's going on. Uh, it is best to try to make the mesh as smooth as possible, so I'm going to just tweak these parameters a little bit to maybe achieve the best result. So yeah, maybe something like this. The next thing is create a UV. Right now, this object doesn't have any UV. And that's just how by first meshes work. And to create that, we should first find the frame with the most uh, vertex count. So I think it is going to be around here. And the reason for that is when you, and because we want to apply a auto UV and when you apply that, it is going to apply this auto UV to all the components of this mesh. And if the next frame have uh, more vertex counts, um, those new vertices are not going to have any UV. So let's apply it now. And let's take a look at the UV. You can try modifying these parameters to achieve the best thing you can. And yeah, maybe like this. And now this mesh is ready for rendering. And to make things just a little bit faster, because right now it tries to apply the auto UV for in every frame, I'm going to just select this object and cache it to Alembic. Make sure to go to your Alembic setting. And enable uh, UV write and write UV set. And now we can just go to a new scene and import the Alembic file. And here it is. And uh, uh, I'm going to use V-Ray for this test. And I've already added some lights, so I'm going to just assign a, a subsurface material. Like this, and maybe change it. A little bit to see how it looks. Let's disable light mixer and try it again. Okay, and this is the result. And you can see this terrible UV scene effects. And to fix that, we can just uh, increase the light map resolution. And this is the result, which is, I think, pretty clean. And that is pretty much it. We can also, we can also add a background. Let's create a new camera and let's create a plane. I'm going to move it as far away as possible and uh, looking from the camera. I'm just going to scale it to cover the view of the camera. Uh, yeah, something like that. Let's assign a new surface shader and use a round texture. Uh, 
Now I want the plane to move with the camera so I'm going to just drag and drop it into the camera and now you can see that uh, it is the background of the camera. Let's also add a reflection. So that is going to be quite easy. Just add a reflection actor. And we also need something to uh, reflect the, uh, uh, to have its reflection on the reflection actor. Because I already have a dome light, we are going to uh, have that. So let's just bake. And uh, the reflection is baked correctly, but we don't see it because we didn't bake the light map. And if you don't want to just bake the light map, you can come to the reflection color and uh, disable the light map layer or just lower the alpha as you like. I'm going to just disable it completely. And over here, let's lower the reflection. something like this we can also make the reflection a little bit rougher and maybe increase its resolution let's apply it without the filter to because of this weird line over here without filter and yeah that is pretty much it I can now just select the object set it to animated and bake the whole animation now I have uh, already baked it once so uh, this is the result of course the material was a little bit different so it looks different as well And uh, if you want to change the color, you can just come to the SSS layer and maybe multiply uh, another color with uh, with your subsurface color. Uh, if you're using Maya 2024, the slider doesn't work very interactively, but uh, in the older versions, it's it works much better. So. Keep that in mind as well you may change the value to something and it is not updating it is just a, a new maya issue now also make sure to enable anti-aliasing to have the best quality around the edges and if you come to viewport 2 setting you can actually increase the sample count to 16 which is going to give you even better result and also you can enable depth of field which can give you some interesting results Uh, but if you don't uh, like the result of this depth of field, you can always uh, use the depth uh, to capture the uh, scene depth and then later in After Effect uh, use this to apply depth of field. And another tip would be you can also add motion blur as well in After Effect because right now neither uh, Maya or X ray support. Uh, deformation motion blur so you can't uh, get a motion blur on this object in Maya so you can just uh, import your rendered image into After Effects and then maybe use pixel motion blur or if you have uh, revision plugins you can use real smart motion blur which has a, 
which is going to give you a better result. If the depth map is uh, for any reason is all white or all black in your scene because of the uh, scene scale, you can come to render viewport 2 and on the hardware uh, fog you can change this value to uh, cover the range of your scene. And that is it. I hope you find this video useful and let me know if you had any questions.